so you can hear that purring. Isn't that clever boy? Now he's posing for the camera. Come on, little Friday. March 2002, the beginning of my journey, or well, in fact, nearly the end of my journey, I was actually going there to Roehampton Institute, Whitelands College. This is Licking Grove, and I'll now show you Tinton Close off it, the first property visit of South West London today. No, I can't afford it, but I wouldn't mind. Quite sinister plantation in Blackheath, I think. This is also a fairly civilised area, possibly even more civilised than Blackheath, so you've got Kidbrook next door or some of the other dodgy places near it. remember this building possibly being a different colour. This appears to be Forest Lodge. Certainly uh, has to be. I don't think there are any other buildings there. And I won't go in. This is the view that we get from just outside on West Hill. Now, bottom right there is where I did my second counselling course the second year. On the top floor, possibly that window, no, further up. Top, yeah, the top window is where I did my first year. West Hill, that is the garage where if we occasionally ran out of biscuits I would run out and buy some biscuits for me and for the rest of the group. And there next to it is Whitefield Close, which actually backs onto the college where I'll show you now. 60s was obviously a very good time for building in the Putney area. All my favourite designs. Some people think it's a bit dull and boring but I like these designs. A lot better than the stuff they turn out now. There is a train going to Southfields. And there is a snowy cat. Doesn't he look like snowy? Not quite as furry, but I bet he's a friend of course. He's coming towards me. There is the view towards Whitelands College down Sutherland Grove. Show you inside in a minute. And God, he didn't have these humps when I was here. We're going to look in Grove. One of the professional ones, and we'll do without that guy's coming here every morning. Here we are. I was in the main building for a while. But nice view. Three years of my life once a week in this college, which I did actually quite like. Another view of the rest of the place. This is the way I used to walk to Forest Lodge. Up there. It's all right, you carry on. It's supposed to be natural, you see. It's a normal day at Roehampton. It's quite civilised here. Oh, that's the final view from over the wall. It's, uh, we had a couple of films or something in here. That building, it's a music building, if I remember rightly. Nice little view of the college. Now over to a new friend I have met, who is just sitting on that wall, if I'm correct. As we approach our prey, it must be very quiet. 
this animal knows no boundaries of danger. Here we are, the domestic cat. We have travelled many miles and many days to see this animal wild on the plains of South Hills in South West London as it sits waiting to do absolutely nothing. We've now roused the sleeping animal. There he goes on his little walk. Taking notes of everything. Hello. Hello, see if you talk to them. They will turn around and look at you. Goodbye, cat, till another day. Now, good example of fate as far as I'm concerned. This is where we are. Now, were I not withdrawn, as in the property, I would be living here for the last six, well, certainly six years ago, one of these houses. That one at the end, that third one along there, what the same as we get. General idea. Flat roofs, no, oh yeah, they had a garage, but no room for uh, any junk, so I don't know how they've managed. Anyway, one of these, I think it's the second one or the third one, or possibly the ones on the left. Would have been where I was going. I would have lived a completely different life down here. I think it's that row over there. This is the next door bit. All of the North Lodge Close Estate. I suspect the same builders had a good time round here. And this is West Row, just over the road from North Lodge Close, which I consider to be a cut above. The other one. Don't know what they're like inside, but probably a bit bigger. Don't have a look. They look the same from the outside, but I don't think they are. So we say goodbye to this part of Putney and head back, possibly with a station on return. Thorn Close off Howard's Lane at Putney. I think this is a bit of 1970s. I don't know if we'll pull the way down, I'm sure they'll look the same. A bit like Jackson's Lane in a way. Complete our journey with my favourite sign around here. As you can see it's from South Africa. Biltong, Burwurst, Kreff, Scotch Venison, Dutch Veal. This is the South African Butchers in Roehampton Village. Goodbye. The Scotch Just like Mount Everest, why am I filming this?